friends and family, Svelia here. I just wanted to stop by and go live for a few minutes just to let you know that my detox is done. So it was a whole three days of eating a lot of fruits and veggies and eating every two hours. So um, I uploaded the link to show you the grocery list and the more or less the protocol of how it works uh, for the three days for the breakfast, post breakfast and all those meals. So I had a few questions and I just wanted to jump on to answer those questions. So um, everybody gets the answer to the questions that if you're asking. So a couple of you have asked me if there are any substitutes. And as far as I know, there aren't any substitutes on the actual meal plan because I know I'm not really familiar with what the fruit does or the vegetable does to the body. And I don't know why there's only specific ones allotted. So for those of you that have allergies, I'm sorry, I don't know yet what I can recommend to you, but I will keep looking that one that I promise. Um, I do have the walnut allergy and I just simply, you know, uh, swapped it for the almonds, figuring it wasn't going to be a big deal. So. For those of you that are allergic to either oranges or tangerines, I don't know if swapping it to a lemon might do it. I don't know, uh, but you can try. I'm sure it won't hurt you for sure. <laughs> so the, the biggest thing about the detox is you don't really feel deprived because there's so much food. Um, I found myself constantly, the first day was fine. I was videotaping, right? So I was, I mean, I was going live, so I was excited talking to you guys and giving all the questions, I mean, giving you kind of the hot twos of how to do it. And... Second day was great as well. The third day, which was yesterday, um, I found myself, I woke up a little later, so I found myself trying to keep keep up. And that's hard because there's so much food to consume in a short period of time, and before you know it, it's time for your next meal. Um, I find myself, when I don't allow enough time to eat, I feel like I'm shoving food down my throat and I'm really full, and what I don't want to get like grossed out, right? What we don't want is to start a regimen where we're feeling great, and then feel like, oh, I'm stuffed, I can't do this, and you kind of get grossed up. So I don't know if that's happened to any of you guys, but it happens to me. And like I shared it with you guys before, I'm really good at jumping on, to, um, doing like detox or something for a short period of time because um, I'm motivated. I see results and I continue to keep going. So I know in the past I've struggled very much so to stay with a healthy regimen regardless of how I feel. And that kind of keeps me from posting or hanging out with you guys. And I shared with you guys in the past and I've even posted my prayers up. <laughs> Because I'm like, what's wrong with me? Why can't I stick to anything? Um, what I've noticed is what I do is I'm really hard on myself. I'm very critical of myself. I can do something for a short period of time and lose a bunch of weight. And all of a sudden, um, I'm discouraged because I either don't maintain it or feel like I should be doing something else. And that kind of messes with my head a little bit. I'm happy to say that I found something that works. Um, as I mentioned to you earlier, that I'm going through a couple of different regimens that are short period. And when I see results, like for example, this three-day cleanse, the only downside of it is that you get cold, or for me anyway, I hate being cold. So I had a lot of warm water, I had my oils. Um, when I felt moody, I actually have oils to help me when I get moody, which is kind of crazy. <laughs> there is an oil for everything, which is pretty exciting. So um, I find myself um, getting a little moody sometimes because Sean and Jaden are still eating whatever they want to eat, right? And it's not like I want to eat their food. I just I don't know, I just get moody, I don't know, call it hormones, call it whatever. So I have wild orange that helps me become a little more uplifted and kind of keeps me going. My Clary Calm is for hormonal stuff and I had just gotten off of my menstruation. So I was waiting for that to happen so I wouldn't have the crankiness and the cravings along to go with it, right? <laughs> so that helps a lot, it helps me a lot. I still took my vitamins, um, I still diffuse, I have my diffuser going all the time. So my diffuser was going and I was super excited. Um, I'm seven pounds down after the three days and more than the pounds, you guys, is the mental clarity. Um, so many times we get on these diets where we feel deprived and we feel hungry and we're upset and we're moody. And with this one, for some reason, the weight comes off really slow, really fast, but it's not just water weight. Like sometimes we get on these diets, we're very restrictive diets, and we lose like a bunch of water weight and then we gain it right back. And that's the part that sucks. But with this one right here, because you're consuming so many fruits and veggies throughout the day, you're feeling like, um, you're feeling happy because you're constantly eating, you know? So there's no reason to feel hungry. Now, some of us, if you're eating, like if you're anything like I was, or I still am sometimes, I like to just nibble on stuff. Even if I'm not hungry, I just nibble for some reason. So that kind of plays with your head a little bit. Day one is very exciting, so you don't feel it as much, just based on my experience. Day, day two, you're kind of like, okay, I have one more day, I can do this. So you're kind of playing the cheerleader. And then day three, I was kind of like, okay, you're almost done, you're almost done, just one more day. 
Very, very important, you guys, for you to sleep at night. Um, also, the water consumption is crucial. Like, I've had friends that did this detox and didn't drink that much water and didn't lose as much. They still lost weight and they felt great, but I've noticed that those who add the water into the whole protocol are a little more successful in getting more of the weight off and the mental clarity as well. So water is huge, you guys. So I would encourage you guys to flush, flush, flush. Um, again, when you go to the bathroom, it's very pleasant. And we're all ladies on this group. Just so you know, I don't have any men in this group. It's all a bunch of girls. Um, and I did that intentionally because there's things that I wanna share with you guys that I don't need men to know, right? <laughs> and as far as a lot of ladies too, they've actually posted their pictures at the beginning. So I created this group about a little over four years ago, I think. So a lot of you have been on this journey with me for about four years and you've seen the ups and downs and the mental breakdowns I have and the issues I come across and all that good stuff. But I think that before it was one of those, I just wanted to fix everything and I wanted everything fast and I wanted to do everything in one shot. And everybody kept telling me, slow down, don't be so hard on yourself, take it one day at a time. And of course I'm hard headed, right? I thought, oh, I could fix this, I could fix this. But I did notice that everything started with that squat challenge. I don't know if you guys remember, but a couple months ago I had posted like a little woman cartoon and it was a 30 day squat challenge. And I'm like, oh, this is easy enough. You consume a gallon of water, right? You didn't drink um, or eat any sugar, not sugar. It was like no chocolate, no sodas. I'm like, I can do that. It's, it's very minimal. Just consume a gallon of water a day. And the trick was every time you went to the bathroom, you had to do 25 squats. <laughs> And I'm like, well, I'm not a fan of squats, but I'm like, oh, 25 squats is not that big a deal. So do you know how much water, you know, you know how many times you have to go to the bathroom after a gallon of water? <laughs> it's a lot of water. Um, and I found myself going to the bathroom a lot. And at first, apparently I was cheating because I didn't know how to do squats. So I was doing squats the best way I knew how to do squats. So that was one thing. Uh, but I remember after going to the bathroom and trying to do my squats, how much pain I was in. And I would tell myself, man, Bella, you don't need to, you know, you don't need to torture yourself this way, but I'm like, it's not that big a deal, it's just squats. But that's kind of when I started kind of realizing how hard I was being on myself. They were simple squats and I couldn't do them all that great, but I started to really talk to myself a lot nicer during those squats. So like, you're, at least you're doing that, at least you're doing the squats. So that was a huge thing for me and it started very little, a gallon of water, right? And squats, how big, how big of a deal is that? So when I started doing that, I noticed that my body started changing. Um, I had a friend that introduced me to the Kagan, which is alkaline water. And we hear so much about alkaline water and all that good stuff, whatever. Um, I ended up purchasing the machine, as I shared with you guys on videos that where Sean and Jaden and I were cooking, and I noticed a huge difference. Um, I was never really much of a water drinker, but for some reason this water was easier to drink. It just felt lighter. And again, I started noticing more mental clarity. I felt like I was lighter on my feet. So that came around the same time that the squat challenge came. And I did notice a drastic change in just my overall mental state, if I can say. My body started changing, my skin started changing. And for those of you who did not know, my hair was falling out drastically. I actually went through a period of time where I was wearing a wig because I had like a lot of bald spots. So um, because I've incorporated more um, healthier, <laughs> more healthy items, I've been taking my vitamins and drinking my Kagan water, my hair started growing back and my skin is, is looking really good and I'm not wearing you know makeup and oh well except for my eyebrows and my and my lips but my my skin started changing um, I introduced it to my parents for those of you that have been following along my parents have also been on a really healthy regimen and they're doing amazing now it's really hard uh, when you've come from eating everything and anything you want to start eating healthier and especially when you go visit people everybody wants to feed you <laughs> so a lot of those things are kind of you know, messing uh, with with us and our daily regimen, but it's okay once in a while, right? We can't be so hard on ourselves. So in regards to the 3D detox, I just wanna tell you that if you have not thought about doing it, I would strongly suggest you do. Um, it is not that difficult as I showed you guys earlier. You guys can pre-pack everything on Thursday. I actually spent the whole day with a friend um, running back and forth, but I had already pre-packed my meal, so I just took it with me. And it wasn't that difficult. So um, I want to encourage you guys to get on this if you're struggling and you feel like, you know, a lot of us started, you know, these um, New Year's resolutions and we didn't do so well. So by February, it was kind of like, well, I tried it, didn't happen, whatever. Jump back on the horse, get back on, um, encourage each other, find yourself an accountability buddy. I'm going to be posting on here more regularly. On Monday, um, I'm going to be starting a protocol 
And for that one, all you need are eggs, a bunch of eggs. And I did this a couple of weeks as well, or a few weeks ago. A um, bunch of eggs, oatmeal, apples, and green tea. And it's not one of those crazy diets you go on or nutrition plans you go on, you gain weight right back. From there, I'll transition to another one. And I'll show you guys how it's been working for me where I don't feel like stuck on one thing, but still have the motivation to continue forward and to continue on this journey. Now, I felt a lot of accountability for my parents because I wanted them to live here longer and to be healthier. So I said, I can't help them unless I lead by example. So that's kind of where my motivation came from is to really help my parents be all that they can be, show them that it can be done and to just encourage them. But I couldn't just tell them, right? I had to show them. So we're still on that journey journey, and we're taking it day by day. So I'm no longer thinking about next week and next month. I'm actually thinking about today and today only. And when today is done, then I plan for tomorrow. But before I was planning for two years from now and that helped me to not pay attention to today. So I'm practicing on being more mindful um, every day to have more focus on me and bettering me so I can help other people, right? Because I can't serve from an empty vessel. Um, my regimen includes quite a few things that are not very complicated and I want to share those with you as I go along. I know that now I'm happier than ever. Um, I'm happy with who I am. Before I felt like I didn't fit into this body. <laughs> like this isn't me, I can't get used to it. But I've learned to accept me for who I am, for where I am and where I want to be um, and enjoying myself along the journey. And that's the huge, huge, huge impact or the huge change that I've seen in my life is that now I'm enjoying me for me. And I'm learning to love me along the way. I've forgiven myself for not loving my body in the past or for beating it up per se. And I'm no longer worried about not fitting into the norm of what the expectation is. Because for the majority of my life, even though everybody, you know, friends and family love me, oh, they know you're so smart, you're so cute, but lose weight. That was always kind of a thing, you know? And even though they said it jokingly and lovingly, um, I started to feel like maybe I'm not the best that I can be because I don't look the way I should be. Uh, looking for everybody else but I'm kind of over that and I'm excited because I feel free and I really want to thank you guys for being with me along the journey a few of you have been on for a few years actually and I just thank you for your feedback for your messages um, because they have been very encouraging to me what I want to do is be an encouragement to those that are um, on this on this group if you feel you don't want to be in this group you guys can always leave the group <laughs> if you have ladies that you feel would um, benefit from us being together and kind of hanging out then please have them join the group and we're here to motivate each other and really if you guys have something that's working please share with the rest of us because all of us are pretty much out there looking for something and if you're doing something that you know is working share this is a free zone there's no judgment um, whatever you want to introduce to the group you may and I would love to hear what you guys are doing um, so as far as the three-day detox I keep talking and going back but as far as the three-day detox, it went very well. Um, today I ate lightly. I woke up, I drink a lot of water, as I do every morning. And I'm thinking, um, you know, I have to make sure to keep on eating clean. I can't go back to, you know, my old ways. But last night I prepared a bunch of crockpot meals and threw some stuff in there and made a grocery list and, and said, okay, what are you planning for for the next week? Because if you don't plan, right, if you don't plan to succeed, you plan to fail. And that's what it is. So giving myself the time to prepare my meals to prepare time to go grocery shopping for meal prepping or whatever it is that is required of me. I want to make sure I jump on there and do what I have to do. Um, does anybody have any questions? Or if you do, if I'm no longer live, you could put them on this thread to make sure that everybody else, um, if they have that question, if they see the answer there, they can get that answer for themselves as well. Um, a lot of you I know are going grocery shopping this week, so I'm excited. Hi, Diana. I'm so excited that you guys are going to go grocery shopping. If you guys need any encouragement, please let us know, reach out. Um, drink water, drink lots and lots of water is what I can, um, how often can you do the diet? You know what, Diana, from the research, you can do it for as long as you want because what she's done is she's prepared all the foods in a way where they're actually nutritionally valuable, which means that you have everything you need in that. So three days is a good start, but you can always do it longer than three days. There is no limit to how long you can do it. Now, I, gave, I did it for three days because I don't know if I can hang for a whole week. <laughs> Just the limitations, I think, kind of weird me out. But after this, I'll be doing my liver and gallbladder cleanse. So I'm looking forward to doing that tonight to kind of finish flushing me out. And I have a video on the liver and gallbladder cleanse actually in this thread. You can go on top of the video, look under videos, and there is a video where I show you guys how to do a liver and detox overnight. Um, 
and that's in the video section. I'm gonna upload the file as well to be in the file section in case you guys ever need that, okay? Um, other than that, I think that's pretty much it as far as a detox is concerned. Um, it's a lot of fun to prep. I mean, I love to prep food and it looks so cute in its little containers and I have no excuse about, I don't know what I'm gonna eat or I feel like eating that. So if you guys have any other questions, please make sure to post them on here. Um, again, thank you for your encouragement and your interest and I will see you guys soon, okay? Have a great Saturday, enjoy the rest of your weekend and I believe on Monday, I know Valentine's Day is on Tuesday, so Sean might convince me to wait, right? <laughs> so if anything, if I don't decide on Monday, on Wednesday, I'm going to be starting um, another protocol, which is the egg protocol. And I'll go over everything that's required of that one. Also, very good on your budget. It's not going to put you over. Um, 